Hello and welcome to a lesson on nonlinear simultaneous equations. In this lesson, I'm going to take you through five examples of pairs of simultaneous equations where at least one of the equations is nonlinear. By the time we've worked through these five examples, we'll have covered all the typical questions on A level papers on this topic. Example one Solve y equals x squared minus 3x plus 1 together with y equals x squared plus x minus 7. So here we have two quadratic curves and to find the point of intersection we're going to use the substitution method. So I'm going to substitute for y in equation 1. Instead of y I'm going to write this expression here. So substitute for y in equation 1. x squared plus x minus 7 is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 1. Now I'm going to bring all the terms to the left hand side. x squared plus x minus 7 and all the terms that come across will change sign so we get minus x squared plus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. And now we can see that the x squared terms cancel out. x squared minus x squared disappears. I've got x plus 3x is 4x. Minus 7 minus 1 is minus 8 is equal to 0. So 4x is equal to 8. x is equal to 8 divided by 4 and so x is equal to 2. And because the x squared is cancelled out, x equals 2 is the only solution for x. And now to find y, we can substitute for x in one of the original equations, let's say in equation 1. So we get y is equal to 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 1. So y is equal to 4 minus 6 plus 1. 4 minus 6 is minus 2, add 1 gives minus 1. So the solution is x equals 2 and y equals minus 1. Let's check that out on autograph by looking at the, the graphs of these two functions. Here I've got the graph of x squared minus 3x plus 1 and here I've got the graph of y was x squared plus x minus 7. And they're basically the same graph. One is just a translation of the other. If we could move the red one down here it would fit on top of the blue one. And you can see there's only the one point of intersection and that's a 2 minus 1 as we found algebraically. Example 2. Solve y equals 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 together with y equals x squared minus 4x minus 3. Begin by substitution again. Let's say substitute for y in equation 2. So I'm going to replace this y with 2x squared minus 3x minus 5. 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 3. Bring everything to the left hand side. Remember to change the signs of those terms coming across the equals. Minus x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. And this time the x squareds don't cancel out. 2x squared minus x squared gives me x squared. Minus 3x plus 4x is plus x. Minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. And now we have a simple quadratic to solve. We can do so by factorising. 
So we want two numbers that multiply together to give minus 2 and add together to give the number in front of the x plus 1. So the numbers we require will be plus 2 and minus 1. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 and plus 2 collected with minus 1 gives plus 1. So either the left hand bracket is 0 or the right hand bracket is 0. And the implication is if the left hand bracket is 0, if x plus 2 is 0, x equals minus 2. Or if the right hand bracket is 0, if x minus 1 is 0, x equals plus 1. So this time we have two solutions for x. And now we've got to find the y coordinates that go with them. So substitute for x in one of the original equations. Let's take the second one. It's only got 1x squared in. So when x equals minus 2, y equals minus 2 squared minus 4 times minus 2 minus 3. Good idea to put the minus 2 in brackets there to save you losing a sign. So y is equal to minus 2 squared is plus 4. Minus 4 times minus 2 is plus 8 minus 3. So y is equal to plus 4 plus 8 is 12 minus 3 takes us back to 9. So solution here x equals minus 2, y equals 9. So that's one pair of coordinates. What about when x is 1? Well, y will be 1 squared minus 4 times 1 minus 3. So y will be 1 minus 4 minus 3. 1 minus 4 is minus 3, minus 3 takes us to minus 6. So we have x equals 1 and y equals minus 6. So if we look at the graphs of these two curves, these should be the points of intersection. x is minus 2, y is 9, x is 1, y is minus 6. Well, here are the two graphs. The red graph is y equals 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 and the blue graph y equals x squared minus 4x minus 3 and sure enough there are two points of intersection one down here at 1 minus 6 and one up here at minus 2 9. Notice that one graph is not a translation of the other anymore. The red graph is steeper than the blue graph because it has 2x squareds rather than 1x squareds and it's this steepness that ensures that there are two solutions to the simultaneous equations, not just one. Moving on now to example three. Solve y equals x squared plus 4x plus 3, together with y equals 2x plus 4. This is probably the most common form available question on this topic, where you've got a quadratic curve and a straight line. Leave answers in third form I've written there, and that's again fairly typical of exam questions. Some factorise, but often they want to test whether you can manipulate thirds. So if it says leave answers in third form, you're going to find you have a quadratic equation that doesn't factorise. Well, let's see what happens. I'm going to substitute for y in this first equation here. So substitute for y in 1. So we write 2x plus 4 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 3. And let's bring everything to the right hand side where the x squareds are positive. So 0 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 3. And bringing the two terms across, changing their signs, minus 2x minus 4. So naught is equal to x squared 
plus 4x minus 2x is plus 2x, and plus 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So accepting this doesn't factorise, we're going to use the quadratic formula. x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now here, the a, b and c are the coefficients of x squared, x and the constant. So a is 1, b is plus 2, and c is minus 1. So we can write that x is equal to minus b will be minus 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, 2 squared is 4, minus 4ac, that's minus 4 times 1 times minus 1. The double negative makes it positive, and 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. And that's all divided by 2a, which is 2 times 1. So that gives us minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 8, divided by 2. Now, the square root of 8 can be written as the square root of 4 times 2, and then we can pull the square root of the 4 outside the root sign to get 2 root 2. So x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 divided by 2. And if we divide each term by the 2, minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1, plus or minus 2 root 2 divided by 2 is just root 2. So x is minus 1 plus or minus root 2. And we need to find out what y is in each case. So when x equals minus 1 plus root 2, what will y be? Well, it's 2 times x plus 4. So 2 times this expression here, minus 1 times 2 is minus 2, root 2 times 2 is plus 2 root 2, and then I need to add 4. So y is equal to minus 2 plus 4 is plus 2, plus 2 root 2. And when x is equal to minus 1 minus root 2, y will be 2 lots of this plus 4. So that's minus 2 minus 2 root 2 plus 4. So y is equal to minus 2 plus 4 is 2. So it's 2 minus 2 root 2. So let's write the solution. We have the first pair of x and y coordinates, x equals minus 1 plus root 2, and y equals plus 2 plus 2 root 2. And the second pair of coordinates would be x equals minus 1 minus root 2, y equals 2 minus 2 root 2. Now before we go on to look at uh, the autograph package and, and have a look at these graphs, let's just approximate what these are. Root 2 is about 1.4, so minus 1 plus 1.4 is 0.4, and 2 plus 2 lots of 1.4 2 plus 2.8 is 4.8. So we're looking for a root at round about 0.4 and 4.8. And sure enough, there it is, 0.4, 4.8. And this is the, the other root, which was the minus 1 minus root 2 for the x-coordinate. Minus 1 minus 1 1.4 is minus 2.4. And the y-coordinate was 2 minus 2 root 2 which is about 2 minus 2.8 minus 0.8. Moving on to example 4. x squared plus y squared equals 25, y equals x plus 1. 
Here we should recognize that x squared plus y squared equals 25 is actually a circle centered on the origin, radius 5 x squared plus y squared equals r squared, standard form of the circle centered on the origin, radius r. So we're going to substitute again for y in here, but be careful because you've got to treat the x plus 1 as a single object when it replaces y. So substitute for y in 1. And what we get is x squared plus x plus 1 squared equals 25. So that gives us x squared. Now when we multiply out this bracket, you get the first one squared plus the second one squared, but don't forget you get twice the product. x plus 1 all squared gives us x times x is x squared, x times 1 is plus x, 1 times x is plus x, 1 times 1 is plus 1. So this all comes to x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 25. So that's 2x squared plus 2x plus 1. Bring the 25 across, it becomes minus 25 equals 0. 2x squared plus 2x minus 24 is equal to 0. Common factor running through the left-hand side of 2, so I divide by 2, and we get x squared plus x minus 12 is equal to 0. The left-hand side factorizes. Two numbers that multiply to minus 12 and add together to the number in front of the x plus 1 would be plus 4 and minus 3. Plus 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. Plus 4 minus 3 is plus 1. So either the left hand bracket's naught, either x plus 4 equals naught, which implies x equals minus 4, or the right-hand bracket's naught, x minus 3 equals naught, which would imply that x is equal to 3. And we just got to find the y coordinate, which couldn't really be much easier because y is just x plus 1. So we've got x is equal to minus 4, y is 1 more than minus 4 is minus 3, or x equals 3, and y equals 1 more than 3, 4. Right, let's check out our answers with autograph. And here we see we've got the circle centered on the origin, radius 5, and here's our line, y was x plus 1, 45 degrees, passing through 1 on the y-axis. And you can see that the intercept with the circle is at 3, 4 there, and minus 4, minus 3 down here. And now we move on to our final example in this lesson. Solve y equals 8 over x minus 5, and y equals x plus 2. Right, again, I'm going to substitute for y, replace it by x plus 2. So substitute for y in 1. And we get x plus 2 is equal to 8 over x minus 5. What we do now is clear the denominator. Multiply the equation through by x minus 5. I'll need to put a bracket around the x plus 2 because it's the whole of the left-hand side that's been multiplied by x minus 5. And the right-hand side multiplied by x minus 5 is just 8. To clear the denominator, that's why we're doing it. Now I need to multiply out these brackets. x times x is x squared. 2 times x is plus 2x, 
minus 5 times x is minus 5x and minus 5 times plus 2 is minus 10. Might as well bring the 8 across to the left hand side while we're on, it'll become minus 8 and that's equal to 0. So that gives me x squared plus 2x minus 5x is minus 3x and minus 10 minus 8 is minus 18. Let's look to factorise the left hand side. x in each bracket, two numbers that multiply to minus 18 and add to minus 3. That would be minus 6 and plus 3. Minus 6 times plus 3 is minus 18, minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3. So either x minus 6 is 0, the left hand bracket is equal to 0, in which case x equals plus 6. Or x plus 3 equals 0, in which case x equals minus 3. Now we need to find the y coordinates. So when x equals 6, y equals, we can choose which one to substitute in. Not a difficult choice, this one's far easier. x plus 2 would be 8. And when x equals minus 3, y would be minus 3 plus 2, which is minus 1. So our solution is x is 6, y is 8, and x equals minus 3, y equals minus 1. Right, let's have a look at this on autograph. There's the 6, 8. And there's the minus 3, minus 1. This is the graph here of y equals 8 over x minus 5. Look how it misbehaves when it gets to 5, running off to minus infinity and coming back on a plus infinity, what we call a discontinuous graph. But we still get our two solutions for the points of intersection. Right, that concludes this lesson on nonlinear simultaneous equations. We've looked at a range of problems typical of A-level exam papers and now what you need to do is complete the associated exercise on similar kinds of problems and the full solutions are included in the exercise.